hello and welcome to the channel once again the name is Borobua so in today's video we do have the iPhone iPhone X right over here which is on password on available screen so in this video I'm going to show you how to remove password or disable screen on your iOS device so this method works on the iPhone 5X to iPhone X and also some iPad so without wasting your time let's switch to our computer and we will be using this tool called the program disk which i already have it being downloaded into my download folder so i will get up to head over to my download folder and also i will leave the link for the download of this tool in my video description so make sure to check this video description for the link for the latest program disk tool so here i have it on my desktop all we have to do is minimize and open the program disk and launch the program disk from its folder. So here we do have program disk being launched and here is the UI of the program disk and this version is the 2.3.4 and you might have the latest version of these two. So make sure to use the link in this video to download the latest version. So here I'll be connecting my device in and we have to connect our device to the computer and after our device is being connected we will not be able to get access to the USB. We have a USB restriction so we just have to put our device into recovery mode. So you can just put a device directly to the FE mode if you know how to get your device into the FU. So here I will be putting my device into recovery mode. So let's get our device into recovery mode and then we will come back to the tool and begin the necessary steps. And when our device gets into recovery mode, we can now head over into the program base and check our device. So the moment you click on check device, the tool will detect your device and you will receive a message saying your device is being connected successfully. So all we have to do is to move to option since our device is on iOS system we just have to move to our options then make sure that our system bypass is being checked and now we can register our serial number so just click on the ECID and copy your ECID after copying your ECID click on register here and you will be taken to the registration panel of the program base which registration is for free for all devices so just paste in your ECID and click on register and you can see your device is being registered successfully after that close it from your browser and move back to the key and click on start click on start and when you are being prompt to this error just click on ok and you will be taken to the DFU helper. So here we do have the DFU helper right over here. And if your device is already in DFU, this option will be skipped to the and DFU step. And just follow the instructions here to get your device into DFU mode. And after that, we will begin to put our device into and DFU by this tool. So just follow this instruction to get your device into DFU mode. So after your device is in DFU successfully just click on next and the next option right over here is to download the appropriate RAM disk file for our device so we are on iOS system and we need to download iOS system RAM disk so make sure to download from the RAM disk that I'm about to download from make sure that you do download from this RAM disk folder and if you do face any challenges with the RAM disk folder just try the alternative RAM disk in there and if you are on iOS system try the iOS system uh, iOS system try the iOS system recommended folder and download from there so here you just have to know the product type of our device so here we have the iPhone 10 comma 1 and you can move into the group from this two and check your device product type so just move back and you can see that my device is iPhone 10 comma 1 D 208 so that is the RAM disk that we need to download for our device so here I will be downloading the iPhone 10 comma 1 for, for our device and after it has finished downloading we just have to move to the iOS system folder and place it in 
the iOS system for us. So if you did download it, iOS 15, then make sure to paste it in iOS 15. So that's it. After that, minimize your browser and now let's check for our jailbreak our device. And at the jailbreak or the boot option, just click on jailbreak device and wait for your device to be exploited and get your device into Pandi F. And after that, your device will begin to exploit the RAM disk file onto the device or put the RAM disk onto your device. And in the process of the jailbreak, you may see your device creating random colors in for the a11 devices your device may be deemed as normal for the a11 devices so just wait for your device to be exploited and receive a successful message saying device connected to ssh successfully so now it's been connecting to ssh and we have a successful ssh connected successfully so if you do have booting on successful please make sure to fix your drivers using the fix drivers option so after that click on ok and we can now back up our device and if you do get stuck at this point you need to make sure that you are on the current or latest ios version so please make sure to update your device if you get stuck at that point and after the backing up you just have to erase your device and if you do use the erase option in the program list and you get boot loop you can use the 3 u2 to flash or do clean flash with your device since we do have the backup of our device so here you can see that our ecrd is being signed or bonded to the backup file of our device so now we can erase using the erase option in the program base so just click yes and wait for your device to be erased and if after erasing your device get good click please make sure to use the tray or item to restore your device and after that we can begin the activation of our device hello guys welcome to the channel again we have our device being erased and if you do have good look after using the erase option please make sure to use 3 u2 to restore your device and make sure that when you do restore your device make sure to stay on the supported ios version so currently the ios 16.6 and the ios 15.7.8 it's been supported by program this too so here i will proceed to show you this device is locked too it's been locked and you can see that uh, this device is being bonded to an apple id so without wasting much time let's move back to our device or computer and begin the activation of our device okay so here on our desktop we can just close from the program base or just click start afresh and after closing from the program base we just have to launch the program base once again from our program base respective folder so i'll be launching the program base from here okay so in book when you do click check device your device will not be detected since your device is not being connected so we just have to move to options and under ios system bypass make sure to check that option only for ios system devices so now we have to connect our device into um we have to put our device into dfe or recovery mode so here i'll be putting my device into the recovery mode again and this step is as the same as how we did to back up our activation file so we just have to go through the same step and the last option will be activate and it will not be backup rather activate so let's follow the same instruction to get our device being activated now let's follow the same instruction to put our device into the fu and then begin the exploit okay so now we have our device in the fu so click on next and click on jailbreak to begin the jailbreak so let's wait for the exploit and the jailbreak to be done and guys i will leave a link for program this official telegram channel in this video description so please make sure to check it out and also you can report any errors in this tool
so almost done jailbreaking and after jailbreaking we will proceed with the activation of our device and if you are being prompt to unable to boot make sure to fix drivers and also if drivers is being fixed and same facing the same error make sure to change the ram this file so let's now activate our device by clicking on activate and wait for our device to be activated so let's wait for the activation of our device so for the a11 device like the iphone 8 8 plus and the iphone x when you do get stuck on boot loop after activation your device just use 3u2 then retain user data to get your device working so we have a pop-up saying your device is being activated so when you do get stuck on the boot loop just make sure to retain user data using 3u2 so i'll sh demonstrate to show you how to fix this boot loop after activating your device so just open 3u2 put your device into recovery mode and in 3u2 select your connected ios device then move to quick flash and make sure that retain user data is being checked now you can flash your device and then wait for the flash to be done and after the flash is being done you will have your device being activated on the home screen so that's it so i will get back to you after the flash is being done okay guys retaining user data is done now you can switch to our device and you can see that our device is on the home screen and we have successfully activated our device and this method works with signal and you can see that we have signal on our device you can sign in into your iCloud and also Siri do works so thanks for watching make sure to subscribe to the channel and also I will leave a link for the download in the description of this video and also as well as the program this official telegram channel thanks for watching make sure to subscribe to the channel the name is Guru peace out